Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a good day like always. Let's jump into it. So today I'm going to be talking about my denture box dentures, long-term usage. I've been using my denture box dentures for three months now. So people have been wondering, how have my dentures been? What do I think about them and any issues? So today I'm gonna to talk about that. First thing I'll do is I'll throw up a picture, maybe a video here showing you what my 3D printed dentures look like. And so if you're unaware of DentureBox, DentureBox is a at-home denture company. Basically what that means is you do not have to go to a dental office. Everything is done from at home. Once you purchase a denture box, they send you all of the mold trays and putties to make molds. You send them back, you get try-ins. It's a lengthy process. I started my process in June of 2023. I got the final product about mid-October 2023. So this is my long-term usage update. Now, you might say three months, that's not long-term. And it, it's not, but it is. Three months doesn't seem long, but I've been wearing these denture box dentures every day for the past three months. And I wear them from 6 a.m. till 8, 9, 10 p.m. So I wear them all day. So first thing I wanna just talk about how it's been. It, three months of wearing these dentures, do I have any issues? And I look and try to figure out if there's anything that bothers me about the dentures. And I went through them from top to bottom and there's nothing that I don't like about these dentures. So my denture box dentures, I love them. I wear them and I have no issues. People always ask me, do you use adhesive? And if you do use adhesive, then they're not great dentures. And that's not true. Not everybody has to use adhesive. Adhesive is a optional thing. Some people do have to use it to keep their dentures in place. I could if I wanted to. My dentures will stay in place. But when I put my dentures in in the morning, I want them to be there and stuck. I don't want any type of movement. I want to put the dentures in and be done. So that's what I do. I use the Polygrip powder on the top and I use the fix it in Ultra Hold Max on the bottom. Because the dentures are such a great fit, I don't need much adhesive. I use very little and clean up is pretty easy. And why did I get denture box dentures? People always ask me that. Here's your old ones look great. Why did you get new ones? And I talked about this before, but I want to quickly go over it. I had dentures that I got made into a hard reline into my permanent set after nine months and they fit good but my gums were not done shrinking and so I had to constantly do soft reline after soft reline every few months when the soft reline will wear out because of course as you know soft relines are not permanent but I was having to do soft relines on my uh, previous dentures they look great I had no complaints otherwise just they were a little loose and so being that I'm making these YouTube videos, I wanted to have an option to try a different product, try Denture Box, something that you can do from home, get new dentures, and then also let you guys know about Denture Box, let you guys know about their product. I've seen a lot of people that said they went with Denture Box and they love them. Um, I've had no complaints. But eating with my Denture Box dentures, I've had no complaints, no issues. I eat everything I want from steaks to corn of the cob, anything and everything. Overall, these denture box dentures are amazing. I have no complaints at all. I don't know if there's anything I would change about them. I'm very happy with these. I want to thank Jen from denture box again for working with me and everyone there at denture box for working with me. Let me try out their product and share for you all to see because I really do think these are great dentures and something that you could look forward to doing at home in the future if you are needing new dentures. It is definitely a great option to try. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Sorry for any delays in posting any progress of my dentures or anything going on with my brother's cancer and then me sick for the past three weeks. I haven't had much energy to do anything. So I finally got back to work today. I'm finally making this video. I have other videos planned. So here soon within the next week or two, I hopefully plan on releasing another video. 
but I do want to thank you guys for watching. I hope I answered any questions or any concerns that you might have about DentureBox. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or you can email me. Uh, please bear with me on responding. Sometimes I don't get notifications or I'm just super busy with life. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Please hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next one. I wanted to say a few things. I know my last videos that I posted, I talked about my brother's cancer. Uh, he's doing pretty good. Uh, he has a type of bone marrow cancer. It's in the blood. Um, and he was having problems with his bone marrow not reproducing the blood. So he had to get like 14 bags of blood over like a three month period. He was doing a partial chemo treatment. His body and everything is reacting well to the treatment. His numbers have been improved to where he hasn't had to get blood in like the past month or so, uh, probably two months now, but he's doing better and he was finally released to go back to work today. So thank God he finally was able to go back to work after missing for the past five months. Uh, it wasn't the easiest for him or his family, but we were all sticking with him together. So far, everything's looking pretty positive. So thank you if you had any prayers or well thoughts for him. I do appreciate it. I've been struggling this year. The, this year I was hoping to not waste too many vacation days and save them and take a week or so off here or there and enjoy my year and New Year's Eve I started to have a sore throat and not feeling well I was sick with like a cold for about a week I went back to work after missing four days and that day I went back to work I started to get bad stomach cramps and I had a horrible stomach bug for the past two weeks for two weeks, it was coming out of both ends. That's TMI, I'm sorry, but that's how bad it was. It was coming out of both ends. It was the worst pain and uncomfortable sickness I've ever had. Uh, I had horrible stomach cramps and a lot of issues. And thankfully now I'm finally feeling better. I went back to work today the first time. Uh, and today's the 24th, 23rd and I've been to work three days this month. So that tells you how sick I was. I missed most of the month. That's what was going on with me. So I just wanted to give you guys an update.